Home dogs and cats have been speaking out since March about conditions inside a Hudson Animal Rescue. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. Now the woman behind it faces three criminal charges. Lizzie Stiles joins us live in the studio with how those adopters are reacting. Taylor and Amber, good evening. Erica Horton, the woman behind Top Paw Rescue in Hudson, Illinois, was charged with three misdemeanor counts related to her animal rescue. But the families who adopted from her feel those misdemeanors are not enough and were hoping for more serious charges. It felt like she got a slap on the wrist. Adopters like Emily Duckworth feel three misdemeanor charges are not enough against the woman who ran Top Paw Rescue in Hudson. Earlier this year, 25 News shared stories of several adopters who thought they were welcoming a new family member, but were left with unvaccinated and sick pets. Months later, they're still treating their animals. A lot of us are still dealing with it. A lot of us still have sick animals. A lot of us still have to go get our animals vaccinated and spayed and neutered. Like, a lot of us are still still on this like there's not like a light at the end of the tunnel for everyone yet. Erica Horton, who runs the rescue, is charged with three separate counts of violating state rules for keeping animals. Court documents accuse her of being a, quote, companion animal hoarder who kept a large amount of dogs in a, quote, overcrowded environment. Two other charges accuse her of not providing enough food and water to both dogs and cats. Horton is still innocent until proven guilty. Misdemeanor charges carry a maximum sentence of less than a year jail time and a few thousand dollars and fees. Video provided by a former volunteer shows conditions inside. Several families also reported their animals' health and vet costs to McLean County Animal Control. We were hoping for so much more. Um, like all this evidence that all of these people, these you know, 45 to 50 families that I have been in contact with have submitted over to this investigation, and this is all that it is? This is all she gets? We reached out to the McLean County State's Attorney's Office for comment and asked if further charges could come down in this case. State's Attorney Erica Reynolds says it's doubtful unless something new comes up to change the situation.